Hi, and welcome back to the next session in the CD3 Automation Toolkit series. Until now, we have had an introduction to CD3 Automation Toolkit. We downloaded and installed the prerequisites. We configured the toolkit to execute the APIs successfully. In this video, we will learn about the CD3 Excel Sheets in detail. Let's get started. An important input to the toolkit is the CD3 Excel Sheets. We have a bunch of these sample templates present inside the container at CD3 Automation Toolkit example folder. Please copy them, modify and use it with your toolkit. Alternately, you can also click on these links or go to the videos attachments to download these templates. These templates consist of standardized IEM components, networking components, events and notification rules as per the CIS Landing Zone and CIS Foundation's benchmark for Oracle Cloud. Let's have a look at these templates and their purpose. The first one is the CD3 blank template. We recommend you to use this template when you want to export resources from OCI and sync it with Terraform configuration files and your toolkit. The second one is the CD3 CIS template, which consists of auto filled in data of your CIS landing zone. In case you want to use DRG version two, we recommend you to use this template. The third one is the CD3 Hub and Spoke template, which consists of auto filled in data for an Hub and Spoke architecture. Fourth one is your CD3 CIS Management Services template. Now, this consists of auto filled in data from your CIS landing zone for management resources such as your alarms, events, and notifications. Remember to change your input CD3 file whenever you want to create these resources to CD3 CIS Management Services template. The last one is your single VCN template. This consists of auto fill in data for a single VCN model of networking. These templates are intended to help you to get started and create resources in OCI easily. The only change that you will have to do as a user is to change the region in these sheets to that your tenancy is subscribed to. Here is a CD3 sheet, which we will be using throughout the demo. This is a CD3 CIS template. I have only changed the region to the one my tenancy subscribed to in all these sheets. The other components remain the same. We have separate tabs for each service in OCI. And each of these tabs have multiple columns where the data needs to be filled in to create a resource in OCI. And these columns represent the Terraform attributes for the resource. We have added drop downs wherever possible to fill the sheet easily. The syntax used to enter the data in these Excel can be found in the blue section of every sheet. Let's look at instances, for example, going to instances. Here we have about 15 columns where the data needs to be filled in. Let's consider the subnet name. As you can see, the syntax is the VCN name underscore subnet name. It can also be found here in this blue section. Please make sure to have these VCNs and subnets defined in your VCNs and subnets sheets respectively. Since Excel is a single source of truth for the toolkit, you may find some dependencies between these sheets. And in case you don't find a parameter that you're looking for in the Excel sheet, you can add it as an additional column. Of course, you will have to change your Terraform files also appropriately. And we will see that in a bit more detail in another video. Please remember that you have a separate sheet for creating the events, notifications and alarms, and it's called the CIS Management Services template. Please use that when you want to create those resources. So this marks the end of this video. Please join me for the next one where we will start executing the automation toolkit workflows. Thank you.